Hi, we're going to be looking at critical values for the chi-square table. Now, let's recap first the shape of the chi-square distribution. Something which is like that, positively skewed. What we know is that if so a random variable follows a chi-square distribution, it, unlike the normal distribution, t-distribution, takes the minimum value of zero, right? So you can't get negative values if something is a chi-squared distribution. An area under the curve comes to one like before, like before, because it's a probability distribution function. Okay, so that's uh, all we need to know, really. It's very easy, this one, so let's have a look. What do we need to find the critical value where well, we just simply need the degree of freedom and we need to know what the alpha is the significance level recall that typically it's one five or ten percent and if the question doesn't tell you just pick five percent okay degree of freedom you work that out from the question so as an example say we've got degree of freedom of two and um, alpha the significance level at five percent let's go over to the table to find critical value first of all let's draw a picture here so here the shaded region will be five percent I am after this value here what is it okay this is from the statistics mental site the chi-square table the cutoff points here um, are given in the body of the table and in the in the uh, horizontal here in this row is the alphas yeah and the alpha represents the area to the right of these points these critical values degree of freedom running down there so we are after five percent so alpha five percent there so we'll go down that column until we get to degree of freedom degree of freedom for the question what was it again F two okay it's two um, so we'll go along here degree of freedom two alpha point not five so the critical value is five point nine nine one it's five point nine nine one so it's easy as that really let's look at a couple more problems with the chi-square Say we've got a random variable y, which is a chi-square. Bigger than a, a value that we have to find. Not bigger than that, but bigger than the probability of 0.975. We're told that y is a chi-square with 6 degree of freedom. Find a. Okay, so solution. Get an idea of this. Okay, the area comes to area under the curve is 1.975. That's bigger than half. It's quite big. It's probably somewhere around here. That's point, not point nine seven five. We've got six degree of freedom, and we've got point nine seven five. So let's go to the table. area to the right is 0.975 okay the alpha denotes that well it's right there the degree of freedom is 6 so I slide down there till I hit row of 6 1.237 is the answer done next let's say we want to find again value of a where y is a chi-square less than a is equal to 0 0.025 where y is a chi-square say it's a uh, 3 degree of freedom so find a okay the probability here is very small 0 0.025 it's less than so we want to shade the region to left so that's a small region so that is approximately let's say it's 0 0.025 I want to find a now notice that the table gives us area to the right of A, here we want area to the left of A, so we need to kind of restate the problem. So we can use the table. Now to say less than 
probability y is less than a is 0 0.025 in terms of greater than because we need that because that's what the table is giving us is the same as probability y is greater than a is equal to not 0 0.975 being this region I'm shading because the area and the curve must come to 1 you see so 97.5 plus 2.5% comes to 1 now we can use the table to look this up at 3 degree of freedom 3 degree of freedom so we've got alpha is again 0 0.975 3 degree of freedom that gives us 0 0.0216 which kind of sounds right because we know we must be a number close to zero because it's more cl okay not 0.216 okay how about big and a equals to not point not seven where y is chi square one degree of freedom same as before big and a is point not seven so it's really far out here a not point not seven Okay, so that's the alpha, it's not point not seven. So look along here, not point not seven. Do we find not point not seven? No. Not point not seven. So it's between point one and point oh five. Degree of freedom is one. So it's long here. So the answer is between two point seven oh six and three point eight four one. Here you do whatever your lecturer tells you you could either pick one or the other answer or take the average of the two or they might have shown you how to use some kind of uh, more neater linear, linear interpolation technique um, I say to my students not to be too concerned about the uh, guessing which value it is it's between here somewhere because these days real you know proper statisticians uh, use computers and the computers will give you the exact value so this is not an issue okay but for you guys if you're doing a homework you could just say it's between here or here or use some kind of linear interpolation they've taught you okay stats tables are pretty boring but necessary statistics mentor.com and I'm Phil